Yo, what up everybody? It is Garrett Fankhauser and we are doing another episode of me driving and talking to you guys. <laughs> I hope you guys like these. I, it's just a way better way for me to pass the time while I'm driving than uh, being distracted by whatever other BS. Cool. Uh, guys, in this one, uh, what I want to talk to you guys about is I want to uh, hopefully induce a mindset shift into many of you talk about a few things involving like marketing sales and product right so we're going to cover all three of those briefly and walk through a couple things that are pretty important with all three you have a product you market that product and then you sell that product right those are kind of the three primary the three primary aspects here when we talk about that if you look at some of the best products some of you guys probably don't like Apple and I don't care. This is an iPhone. I fucking love my Apple stuff. If you have a really good product, most of the time it sells itself, right? And so many of you guys, your product, maybe you don't really build products, right? Maybe you're not an 07 that actually manufactures something or whatever, but maybe your product is your building, like your customer experience, the products that you have inside of your brick and mortar store or for you guys that's your website like that would be your product but it's not really a product right the idea here is that ideally you want to build a product so good that it sells itself like people just refer uh, unlimited right you don't have to advertise you don't have to do anything the problem is is that most of us don't have that right most of us are striving for that i'm still striving for that right we get a ton of referrals which is awesome but it's still not 100%. percent still have to do a lot of marketing and things like that. Don't have to do a whole lot of selling, right? So let's kind of break into that. If you have a good product, you don't need to market it that much. If you have a okay product and you have to market it a lot, I'm sorry, if you have a good product and good marketing, you don't really have to sell, right? So that's kind of like where we're at, not, not trying to flex or anything but like that's kind of where we're at right we have a good product good marketing we don't really have to sell a whole lot most people i just kind of show them what we do and they they're like let's do it right um the the, the inverse of that though is that if you have a shit product and shit marketing you have to be really really good at selling right this ups the game for selling so they're all kind of connected and uh what i want you guys to understand though is that most of you guys don't necessarily have your own product right you're not actually building your own thing that is the deliverable. You're selling an experience, which is people going into your shop and stuff like that, but that's not the actual product that, like somebody's not coming into your shop to buy an experience, they're coming into your shop, unless it's a range or something, right? But most people are coming in there to buy a product, right? A Sig P365 or whatever it is. That's a product. You don't have control over that really because you're not making the products. So. The next kind of pillar in line is marketing, right? And so many of you guys, I think, don't put enough emphasis, enough time and energy into learning and understanding how to market well and how to sell well, right? Because they, they really kind of go together. We have a recent example of some clients, and I'm gonna put up a post today actually shouting them out, but we have a recent example of some clients that came on with us. This is, last month was month three of them having their website up and running with us and using our marketing systems. Now granted, these guys did a lot of other stuff, right? They did a lot of other stuff that's outside of our scope, but they used our system as a base to boost them up so that they can do the other stuff, right? So what I mean by all of this is they did a lot of marketing and they actually did a really fucking good job of it. On month three in their business, in online sales, they did 133,000. 133,000 in 90 days, right? And so they actually did more than that because that's just the, 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 the total for the, the third month, right? Month two, as far as I know, I know they did at least 20K, right? I don't know what they did, you know, off of the website, you know, as far as like gun broker, whatever other stuff, right? I don't know that, but I do know that their full value for month three was 133K. So they did at least 150K in 90 days, right? That's not even counting month one, which I think was a couple thousand, right? So why I bring that up is because these dudes knew and understood the importance of marketing. If nobody knows who your business is, they can't fucking pay you money. 
right? So many of you guys are so stuck in the day-to-day -day of like the busy tasks, right? Oh, we have some Cerakote stuff that needs to get done. Oh, I need to, you know, sweep the floors and, and clean the, the bathrooms and do all that stuff. Honestly, what most of you guys need to do is right now, while you're doing that shit, because I know that you can't, you can't just not do that, right? And what I'm going to say is that you need to hire somebody to do all that shit. But maybe you can't afford that right now, right? What you can afford is you can afford to spend 30 minutes to an hour a day. And I know because I talk to you guys for an hour. Like when I hop on phone calls with pe with dealers every day, I have like four calls today. It's going to be for half an hour to an hour. So I know that you guys have time, right? That time and energy when you're not doing other important things that are moving the needle in your business, I would say to dedicate wholeheartedly into learning marketing, whether that's watching our videos on Facebook or YouTube, or whether that's just like asking me questions or asking questions in the Facebook group so that you can get a better understanding about stuff, or whether that's using chat GPT to actually help you better understand how to, to do marketing. Use technology to help you. I use chat GPT all the fucking time. I'm actually going to have a personal website built for myself that's going to be like a branded website it's going to be like garrettfankhauser.com right and that's for seo purposes which i'm not going to get into and and some authority and stuff like that right but the idea here is that i wholeheartedly i invest in this stuff 24 7 like marketing is my favorite thing because it it can take a good product and put it in front of a ton of people and get people to use that product and then we can gather feedback from that product and we can turn it into a fucking amazing product that sells itself right so you get so good at marketing that eventually you don't even really have to do it right how crazy is that 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 is the goal is to get so fucking good at marketing that you eventually don't even have to do it ideally you're gonna have a team down the road that still does marketing for you because you can never have too many leads and things like that. But I mean, shit, there's times where like right now I'm booked out two weeks or so for phone calls uh, in Zooms and stuff like that just because like I have so many people on my calendar and that's just due to good product and good marketing, right? So if you have a good product, you don't need to be that good at, at, at marketing, but you still need to be, you still want to be like I, I would say that like to me marketing is the most important that's not necessarily how it is it's usually product marketing sales right I don't put a huge emphasis on the sales part because one I feel like I'm a pretty solid salesman but two other than that like I don't want to sell people I want them to see the product and you know have seen our marketing in the past and just look at you know what we offer and, and just be like oh I just that's amazing. I want to do that. Like, I, you know, I, I don't really get into those hardcore sales pitches. I don't pressure people to buy because realistically, like I know that our product is so good. You know, like the story that I just told you earlier, I know that our product is so good when it's used properly and it's, it's added to with maybe like some other outside marketing stuff and, and a good skill set to back it up. I know that it's capable of doing $150,000 in revenue in 90 days. So I'm like, if I know that and I'm 100% confident that that's possible, why am I going to sit here and beat people up and twist their arm to buy something when I'm like, hey, this is what it can do, man. Do you want that or no? You know what I mean? So for you guys, though, I'm going to get off of myself for a second and focus back on you guys. Spend some time learning marketing. Like this is more important than any of the other bullshit that you're doing. If you're, tr if you tell people that your Cerakote takes six weeks and you're delivering it in 24 hours because you're just hustling and grinding, why? Right? I get it that you want to get it in and out as quickly as possible, but why not spend more of that time studying marketing, improving your skill set? you know, developing your business more, reinvesting in the business to continuously grow it versus uh, like, dude, customer service is, is top notch. Like that's something that always needs to be focused on. But sometimes just meeting people's expectations is good enough. Like you don't have to tell them it's gonna take six weeks and then deliver it to them the next day. 
they were expecting it to take six weeks. So if you give it to them at six weeks or maybe five and a half weeks, they're going to be just as fucking happy, right? You might think like, oh, they're going to fucking love me so much because I told them six weeks and I delivered it to them in 24 hours. But like realistically, that's cool and everything. And and yeah, it's great that it was fast, but like it's not going to move the needle of your business that much, right? What is going to move your the needle of your business the most of all is letting more people know who you are, what you do, how you do it, the results that you've had, you know, all that kind of stuff, which is all marketing, right? Then you don't really have to be that good of a salesman. Then you don't have to hire people that are that great of salespeople, right? You definitely want to have people like, so don't get me wrong. I'm not saying hire shitty salesmen. Do not take the opposite of what I'm saying here, right? But what I am saying, guys, is that if you can get good at marketing, your life is going to fucking change forever because even if I didn't do this, right? If I went and worked for a life insurance company or I went and worked for solar or whatever it is, right? Not even my own business, right? Like I do now. If I went and worked for somebody else, I know I could absolutely crush it because I know how to market really well, right? So if I had the freedom to market that stuff, I know I could absolutely crush it. If I wasn't doing the marketing and the marketing sucked, I would have a really hard time selling it because I would not be confident in the results. I would not be confident in the marketing. People would come to the sales calls skeptical or whatever, and it would just be really hard for me to actually close the sale, right? So again, I'm using myself as an example, but I, I know that we're in different spaces, right? But I want you guys to understand like how important marketing is in your business. If nobody knows you, you will go out of business. Right, And so what I hear all day is like, Facebook is taking down my posts. Fuck Facebook then. Go somewhere else. Do something else. Build a badass website and send people there from an email list. Start filming videos for YouTube. Like, I don't care what it is. Even if you have to go to one of the goofy platforms like MeWe or whatever that shit is. Like, or, you know, like put up billboards around the town. Whatever it is. Like, it doesn't even have to just be online. But like... You guys have to do marketing. You have to learn this shit. If you don't learn it, like even our systems are not gonna fix the bigger problems that you guys have if you don't know how to market your business properly. Sometimes I see that we give people all the tools for success and I see them not use them because they don't, maybe they're uncomfortable with marketing or whatever it is. Maybe they just don't have the skill set. Maybe they don't watch the videos that we give them. I don't know what it is. But if you don't do it, it's not going to work, right? So, key takeaway, learn marketing in your off time, right? If you're watching fucking football on the weekends or whatever it is, that's totally cool if that's what you're into. If you like football better than you like making money with your business and providing your family with safety, security, vacations, you know, Disneyland trips for the kids, whatever it is, right? Or even just buying yourself cool shit, like having the nice guns and stuff. If you like football more than that, have fucking fun, right? I do not like football more than that, right? I don't like anything more than that. I love providing for my family and, and you know, building security and being able to go anywhere and do anything that I want and whatever, right? So I hope this makes sense and I hope this helps you guys. I am back at the pad now, so I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.